Have you ever found yourself just really liking something from day one? There's your favorite city to visit, your favorite car no matter how old it is, your favorite watch or smartwatch for that matter. That effect can be the same for smartphones, but after pretty much reviewing some of the best devices of the year, that love at first sight hadn't really clicked for me, or at least not until today. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and I've just spent 24 hours with the HTC U11. So here's the thing. I wasn't really expecting much of a surprise with the new HTC U11. See, the U Ultra was seriously my least favorite phone to hold during my review given the unnecessary heft, but the U11 is something else entirely. The 3D form glass creates this very interesting effect in the overall design. Instead of having it enable a curved display, the glass is actually thicker on the edges, almost making the aluminum frame inexistent. The result is a phone that feels like if it were fully made of glass, with no sharp edges to account for anywhere. Honestly, not sure what it is, but it's my favorite feel on a phone in 2017. Now, what hasn't really survived at all well after just one day of use is this clear case. It's scratched up all over on the outside, and on the inside it is a lint magnet. Sure, free stuff in a box is always great, but I've had to migrate back to my usual sleeve from Amazon. And yes, a chamois is a must in this reflective glass finish. Setting it up for the first time, we have the new HTC logo animation, all hinting to this being about you. The Wi-Fi, Google Assistant, and account setup for Restore all resemble your standard Android phone from the beginning. It's not until after that that we're greeted by the option to set up your HTC account, and then to set up EdgeSense, which begins by asking you to set the sensitivity at which you'll be squeezing the phone for it to react. Next up, we have the USonic setup, which you'll need the headphones for, and you simply have to press a button that it detects the noise and adapts to it automatically. Then you have the usual fingerprint setup, and after that, things actually begin to get weird. See, for a company that boasts that it doesn't bring any blow to their phones, part of the setup has applications it suggests for you to install, with some of these being exactly that, bloat. And then the bloat continues in features like blink feed, which includes sponsored content, something I honestly don't understand in a phone at this price range. Separate features like the HTC Sense Companion have to be set separately. Since there's no secondary display like on the U Ultra, you get these random bubbles like chat heads on the display with suggestions. But right now it's too early to replicate it or for this feature to be of any use. And everything else, we have the standard HTC Sense on top of Android 7.1.1. This continues to be my favorite Android skin given its minimalism, with some new additions like the Pixel's contextual menus when you long press an icon making the cut. This also continues to be my favorite version of Android given its battery optimizations. So far, the U11 has lasted me through my first day without a problem, but time will tell if that holds up. This particular review unit is the Snapdragon 835 variant with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage and dual SIM capabilities if you trade in the space from that memory card. The performance is obviously top notch, but I can't say that I've been really impressed with call quality as with previous HTC phones, but the Boom Sound Hi Fi speakers have been plenty loud for content consumption. As for active noise cancellation over USonic, well, these are no Sennheisers, but audio over headphones can get so loud that I seriously can't hear any noise. More from Juan's real audio review coming very soon. The camera has also been quite impressive. HTC has reduced the size of the Ultra Pixels in favor of a wider aperture in order to shave most of the camera hump that we saw with the U Ultra. My first batch of photos have been quite impressive during the day and also overnight. Once real camera review will come very soon to shed more details on what you're getting here. Overall, for my first day of using this phone, I'll tell you this much. It looks like a flagship, it feels like a flagship, and yes, it runs like a flagship. Just like in the case of the HTC 10, this is another device without compromise from HTC. We'll be reporting back with our full review in the days ahead, in addition to our standard batch of comparisons. 
While that happens, make sure you follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you with the next one.